Here we go, we're here, we're on Thursday, and we've almost made it. Almost. Nearly. There's only been a few accidents this week, a few little digs. Um, Richie made me more than anyone. I think you should apologise. So this video, we're looking at an overlooked part of the cane, the tip. We know about tip strikes because, you know, they're fun. We're just going to play around with them this week, see what you think. But we're going to look at the tip for attacking balance points. Mm -hmm. That might be a bit of a problem for me on that one. Targets that are good to go for and a couple of little nifty little bits I'm going to throw in at the end which will please me no end. Yeah, as long as you're pleased. Don't forget to drop us a line, give us a like, all helps the algorithm, helps us out. We've got a merch shop, link is down below, always helps us out. What if I don't like him? Nothing new. No, this is true. Please subscribe, don't click through. Or the click on, click off. That clicks out. And as always, breathe fit. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I dub thee Sir Kevin of Cain, arise, Sir Kevin. <laughs> you don't get your knighthood unless you stand up. You're gonna get seriously hurt today. Right, now the science bit. Human body works in predictable ways unless you have a condition which means it doesn't work in a predictable way. Right. As we know, we've got the shoulder area. Two parts. Upper, lower. These are great balance points. Nerves run quite shallow, especially under the arm. Back Kevin. You're not poking in the pit. <laughs> Just stand there and take it. <laughs> That's... So if you're using a focus point anywhere in this area, or anywhere there, you're going to get the reaction of moving them offline. So this is your first balance point I'm going to use. The second one, there's a small bone here in two parts. Mine's huge. Ow. <laughs> it's called the sternum, and again, one finger. I did so, I actually suddenly is immune to that. Did you? Yes. It's actually called a retinal sternal notch rub, which we used to use in hospitals. But again, with the cane, you've got more focus point, and you've seen the tap-ons, and you've seen the strikes, and you've seen the strikes removed. Yeah, but it is so draggy. <laughs> Another one we're going to look at is the hips. And again, it's the same ball and socket joint you've got it actually on the shoulder. And it's just going to come in, and I'm just going to push downwards. This works again where another major nerve point is, on the inside of the leg, and push down from there. So these are the four points. There's loads more. You've got the knee. This, Again, there's loads more. What about the elbow? There is loads more. Okay. We know about poking and bone striking. We've done a few bits. We've done a few bits. Um, we might put a link in. But we might not. Well, like, <laughs> but what's the odds? Well, the odds. Other than just striking, there's other things you can do with this. So this is what we're looking at, and specific points. So Callum is now going to get his own back for all the impaling that I did on him with my cane. I think I'll get my phone out and take some personal video of this. What you're doing in your own time is entirely up to you. I'm not going to judge you. Don't go first. Okay. So I'm going to give Callum the cane because I'm that worried. Because I gave him some impaling techniques, as you might be a link, might not. So we're going to talk about the points, not how to get to them. So the first one is the throat. So using the tip, <laughs> we'll be very, very careful. Anything around here, even just just one hand, take one hand away, and just slight push. I'm, I'm yeah, not, not. It's not nice, trust me. <laughs> even if he's on the side, and it gives a nice... It's very, very unpleasant. So in a heated situation, if I'm moving and coming in, it's not going to be good. 
But if he's got the tip down on the floor, standing normally, dumbly down, I'm here, flicks up, if he misses my groin, straight up, he's there. So that is a possibility. If he doesn't want to do that, because he's a nice person, good stop. It's like a break we almost did. Now that's just given me a brilliant idea. Right. So, just, here's my throat, just try and flick up, aim for the throat. We're going yeah. to go the other way. We're going to go the other way. We like that. We're more comfortable on our right hand. Yeah. So this is very important to control. <laughs> so here's the target. Up. Yeah. And poke. Now if I'm moving like this. So he's got his hand up. Now if he puts his hand at the level of where he wants that cane to go. So even if I'm moving. He's and he brings, He's kept me at bay. That is at the right height. So Callum's just invented something very useful. <laughs> So if he's going for the sternum, he's keeping me away, he's got the right height, it is focused. Now put your hand down and try it, get in the right spot as I'm moving as well. It's, see that way? Yeah, it's a lot slower as well. Yeah, so we'll call that the Callum, because that, yes, like, yeah. <laughs> that was like, I just saw it and that, that's what it's all about. If I'm doing this and you want to go for heart one, which is the armpit, I really hate this. I'll go this side to make hands. So it might be I'm reaching in. Again, he's using his, his yeah. spare arm. I'm using your, your arm as well. Yeah. And that, nice stick there. <laughs> that takes nothing to go through from there. Now if he's nice to me, I'm going to do this side, inside of the bicep. Now we use this a lot, we strike it. But if he puts focus technique with the tip on there, so if he just draws that back, just where you would take the pulse. Yeah. yeah. Even just placing it on there, and then just, <laughs> we hit this place a lot. It numbs the arm, being struck there. But this is his guiding hand, and it's following it up quite nicely. Kez Fraver, the ribs, because it's a nice target for him. Just short up, if I'm coming in, he just whips that up. It doesn't really matter. Strike in, pulls it back, and then, that's not nice. So you're combining two things here. If I just walk straight in and he just flicks that straight up, he's got the groin. If he misses the groin, he's got the solar plexus. If he misses that, he's got the throat. If he misses that, he's hit the chin. But you're going for these specific points. Now, Kev touched on it earlier, inside of the thigh, where you would take the pulse. Don't put your hand down there. <laughs> but just driving it in, and if he puts that on, it's quite difficult to get it on, but it's a good spot to hit. Now if he just does something really nice and simple, in step, <laughs> he's not liking it. I've used this a lot, because I'm expecting a big wild cane movement, and what happens is you're just tapping the foot. If you can, side of the knee. So it's a balance point and a very painful point to actually drive down. Yeah. So I don't that, think that would work with one hand though. No, try it. There's the same it's already kind of yeah. So this one we have to use two hands. Two hands driving down. If I'm here and he does the back of the knee, you only need one hand because this is again it's a balance point. Same with the elbow. Very difficult to get the tip in the elbow. Not a lot of force there. Two hands. Yes. Crook. Brilliant. But don't forget, you can use the tip, but you can use the horn to do these as well. So if you're hooking the knee from that balance point. It's nice and in. You can hook the elbow quite nicely. You can hook the shoulder. But we're talking about tips. So with the tip strikes, you've got some good balance points and you've got some good places to focus for. The good thing about these is if you miss, the cane, the rest of the cane is going to do the damage. But the whole thing of putting your hand where you want it to be as a guide, that's you keep away, that's your fence, whatever it is, it's there, that is spot on. But what we're going to do now is I'm going to remove the cane from Callum. And we're going to use this bit. Should we do this? Why not? Put your hand on. No, what? Just do, do okay. your hand. So normally we would come over, bring it over, using the tip for leverage, it doesn't matter where you do the cane. If I bring it over this way and grab the tip, this really hurts. If I catch the elbow, that really hurts. 
So rather than just keep it here, because I'm locked off, he's got a spare hand that might come in, what I'm going to do is just turn. Uncomfortable? Yeah, very uncomfortable. Now, I'm going to take his hand away. What I would normally do is drop down into a deeper stance and then turn. It's in a cata, it's in quite a few catas. If I went to Callum, oh, we're going from here, round and dropping, he'll know that's shoe so isn't you? But we're doing it with a cane. If you do kata, look at kata, look at it with your cane, you'll see techniques. But think about what can I do with this? I would say, people say, oh, I could poke him in the eye. No. <laughs> very, unless you're very, very, very skilled. It's like pressure points. I know there's a great pressure point there. And it'd be fantastic if I got my tip in the top of this chin. I'd be knocked out immediately. However, never gonna happen. Oh, that's never going to happen. And more to the point, if I've got this, I can just strike. These focused pressure points are great, but the chance of hitting them, not great. We always say, go for them. If you hit them, you're lucky. If not, you're still hitting them with your cane. Well that's it for Thursday's video and you've made the whole week, you're absolute stars. Thank you for watching along with us and thank you for following us. If you can, drop us a little comment down below, give us a thumbs up, it all helps. Well, I thought kindness and compassion for your fellow man helps as well. Don't show me no kindness or compassion. I know, but you did get knighted. As always, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Oh, well, you. don't forget, we've got a nice merch short down below, down there. And what must we do, Kevin? Push the notification bell so that uh, you'll receive an email every time we post a video. You won't miss any of our content and you'll understand that these videos start to make sense. Good luck with that. <laughs> and as always, standard. Go for it. Free the fit. Hats you with. There we go.